means a big bad hurricane and it is making the turn northwest at six so it is getting a farther away from cuba and the forecast path has it going the center near or over key west Last time on the Lazy Geckos. You got a crash course on how to operate our water maker before we started to pack up all of our belongings. It was time to haul the boat out and list her for sale as we head to search for our new floating home. You knew that. No, I didn't. I never told you where these were because I figured you'd lose them. Oh you'd go goodness. there and get them, and then go lose them. Oh my goodness! Yeah, the whole every other every key we use, we have an extra one right here. That's great, honey. Thank you for letting me lose my mind that one time. You're welcome. You know you're a true sailor when you empty your bilge and take your beer with you. <laughs> There you go. And I still have a whole fridge full of Michelob Ultra. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I guess we're going to get drunk along the way to looking for our new boat. I'm sure we will, honey. Yeah. I'm a little sad. It's almost done. How was the bilge? Disgusting. You got to clean that out? Yeah. Well, it's not that um, the beers sit in the bilge, you know, so when they get knocked around, they get punctured. The beer obviously sprays open. When I know it happens, I clean it up, but on the bottom I found some that had done that. So now I need to clean up beer that smells like cat. I don't know, gross. But um, I need to clean it up. Leaving the dock is always exciting. Looking forward to the adventure that lies ahead, it's so cool. This time, however, was not. This time, we were leaving the dock to put our girl on the hard and we were listing her for sale. And to add to that, I made the mistake of bumping us into a pylon along the way out of the slip. Whoops, can't be perfect every time. This isn't starting well. After almost two years in the water, our girl was about to be pulled out. Wonderful memories flashed in our heads. The future isn't perfectly clear for our gecko. Will we sell her and buy another boat? Will we decide to keep her and sail on? Or would she have another fate? We just weren't sure. That added to our emotions as Reese watched his home be pulled from the water. One thing we're happy about is that we've been able to share and preserve the memories we've made with this footage.
about the other mom's dad. Yeah, my man. The boat. Oh, boat. Is that our boat? Hi, you want the hose? Um. No. Life on the hard is so much more difficult than being on the water. No bathroom no air conditioning, and no electricity. Plus, you have to climb your way up and down every single time you need to do anything. It's okay though, she needs some TLC. The boat, this lady gecko is now up on the hard, she has been sanded down and obviously taped off. We're about to do the bottom paint. Well, the acid wash and then the bottom paint. Debating between blue and red. We'll figure that out, what color we're gonna do the bottom. Um, and then I'm about to go in and stage it with some things that I bought, kind of make it all pretty and nice. It's actually so much so that I want the stuff. <laughs> you know it's good when you want that. And then Jeremiah needs to go in and find a tool. So yes, we have even forgot some things after the 14 boxes that we brought out. it up and um, make it look really appealing especially to the woman's eye and um, I'm happy with what I got. I went with all light colors, gray and white and then of course I had to get a picture to replace the one that I painted, painted for our boat and it says be faithful in small things because it is in them that you that your strength lies and I thought it was perfect for the boat. So we will replace the picture that I painted for the boat with that. Throw some throw pillows in the V berth and put some pretty little things in the kitchen and a couple towels in the bathroom and we should be good.
this is it. This is everything we uh, had on the boat. So we're gonna take it with us and try to find a new boat and chuck it on there. <laughs> It's all painted, huh? Yep, all done. What do you think? You think it looks good? Oh, yeah. Hmm. But she's looking good. What are you going to do? Just take care of a couple things before we roll. Like, uh, re, uh, like uh, Irma. So, do you think Coming we'll have a boat? Yeah, probably not that boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I think it should be absolutely fine. <laughs> Our little home is getting plummeted. Yep. Uh, How do you feel? Over. Once they start, it's, it's probably going to be that's like well, possibly the, uh, 13 to 14. I mean, I'm happy that we took our boat out of the water. Yeah, it's a cruel irony. Mark, Tampa uh, we had no idea about the storm, and it was kind of like that'll never happen. But we prepared for it anyways. And as soon as we left to go look at boats, it's happening. I'm going to be so heartbroken when I see the boat. The boat's going to be fine. Tampa is essentially a ghost town. Most people choosing to either leave the area entirely uh. And we have friends over there. Some of our friends don't have insurance on their boat, so they're really losing everything. There's people that are losing a lot more and risking a lot more than we are. Listen, if our gecko is still floating when we get back, if it's still there, we cannot get rid of it. We have to keep it. And as you head right winds to 100. Next time on the Lazy Geckos. Did the Lazy Gecko make it through the storm? We'll see. Then we'll take you along as we head to find our new floating home. Patrons, thank you for everything you do for us. Like our YouTube series? Then you might want to check out our extra footage on our Vimeo channel as well. You can find the link in the description below.